Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial where we will discuss how to convert RazorView to PDF in MVC. So in this tutorial, we'll explore how we can create a PDF from RazorView programmatically in C Sharp using the Iron PDF library. To use the Iron PDF library, we have to create a C Sharp ASP.NET Web MVC application in Visual Studio. So here I've created a C Sharp ASP.NET web MVC application from a .NET 6 framework. You have to install the Iron PDF library in the project. I've already done so, and you can do so using the NuGet package manager or the NuGet website. So let's go ahead and close the NuGet tab and open up the model folder. So here I've created an example model with three properties, name, surname, and age to store data from a web page. So let's move to the views folder and open up the index file. And here you can see I've added the code to generate a form through a razor view. After that, I've created a button to convert this razor view to a PDF. Set the ASP controller value to the controller name where the conversion method exists. So I've placed it in the home controller. The function name goes in ASP action and it's called generate PDF from razor view. So let's go ahead and have a look at this function in the home controller. So go to the home controller tab up top. And in this method, first we're creating a Chrome PDF render object. And then we pass the index view, which needs to be converted along with the data in the render view async method. So here we create a PDF document from the result returned and set its header properties and the file name. And lastly, we'll return the file object as a PDF to be downloaded from the current view. Now we have to create a static controller PDF class and inside it the render view async method which actually converts the razor view to simple HTML string. First we have to check if the view is null or empty and set its view name to the action name and set the view data to the model which we created for the form. And then finally we have used find view and if the view name does not exist then it will return a string with the message a view name with the name in brackets could not be found. Otherwise, if it exists, then it's converted. A HTML string is returned, and both the outputs are printed on the PDF document. All right, so let's go ahead and run the project. And we'll wait for the process to complete. So here you can see the home page with the form fields and a convert button. And click on the convert button, download the file, and open the gen, uh, generated razor view PDF file. So here you can see the output from a razor view. These are the editable fields that you can fill in and save. And there you go, Iron PDF is a great library. As you can, can see it, convert a complicated razor view to a PDF. All right. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And as always, if you need any assistance, our support team is standing by ready to help. 